Hey everyone, welcome back to Financial Futures. It's your go-to channel for everything you need to know about how current events impact your wallet and financial future. Today's topic is something you can't ignore the rising cost of food. There's been some recent news and reports that could mean a huge spike in food prices. And trust me, this is something that could affect all of us sooner than we think. But before we dive into this important topic, take a quick second to hit that thumbs up button below. It really helps the channel reach more people. And if you're new here, or you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe for regular updates on finance, the economy, and how to stay ahead of the game. Alright, so here's what's going on. According to new reports from major sources like the Idaho Dairymen's Association, a staggering 90% of dairy farm workers in Idaho are foreign-born. Now, you might be wondering, why is this important? Well, here's why. If, for any reason, these workers can no longer continue in their jobs and believe me, there's talk about that happening we're looking at a massive disruption in the supply chain. Another report from Texas A&M found that nationally, 51% of dairy workers are foreign-born. That means we're talking about over half the workforce that keeps our dairy industry moving. Imagine what happens if they're no longer part of the equation. So, what does this mean for you and me? In short, prices for basic necessities like milk could surge by 90.4%. Yes, you heard that right 90%. And we're not just talking about milk here. If milk prices go up, what else follows? Things like cheese, yogurt, butter, and even other foods that rely on dairy products. Remember a few years ago when egg prices went through the roof? At one point, we were paying close to $10 for a dozen eggs. It was a shock, and we all felt it. This situation with dairy could have the same effect maybe even worse. And it's not just about dairy, the ripple effects could be huge. We all know how much dairy products contribute to everything from coffee to dessert, and even everyday meals. So, this could hit your grocery bill hard. Let's put it into perspective. Picture this, you go to the store, and a gallon of milk that usually costs you about $3 suddenly costs almost $6. Then you pick up cheese for a sandwich, and that little block that was once $4 is now closer to $8 or $9. Now, multiply this across your entire grocery list, and suddenly, that weekly grocery bill is looking a lot scarier. And don't think it stops at dairy. With food production, everything is connected. Higher dairy prices mean the costs of other products that rely on milk and cheese and their ingredients will go up too. That includes processed foods, baked goods, sauces, and even things like chocolate. It's a ripple effect and it can hit every aisle in the grocery store. Think about it, milk, butter, yogurt, ice cream, sour cream, cottage cheese, and the list goes on. But dairy prices also influence other industries. Restaurants that rely on dairy will have to raise their prices. Pizza places, coffee shops anywhere that serves food with dairy ingredients will feel the pinch and pass that cost onto you. Even non-dairy products could see a price hike because dairy is often used in packaging and preparation. If dairy farmers and producers have to raise their prices, it impacts the entire supply chain. It's not just a dairy problem, it's an everyone problem. Now, before you panic, let me clarify this isn't happening yet. No one's been forced out of work, and we haven't seen these price hikes hit the shelves just yet. But the conversation is happening. If changes in immigration or labor laws take place, this scenario could become very real, very fast. This potential disruption could trigger inflation that we haven't seen in years. The economy is already fragile, and with all the supply chain issues we've been through recently from COVID to the war in Ukraine this could be the tipping point for another wave of inflation, especially when it comes to food prices. So, what can you do about it? First, stay informed. Keep an eye on the news and pay attention to reports about labor in the agricultural sector. The more you know, the better prepared you can be. If we start seeing signs of these price hikes, it might be smart to stock up on some basics like milk alternatives, 
frozen dairy products, or even consider reducing your reliance on dairy. I'd also recommend keeping a closer watch on your grocery spending. If you're noticing price increases already, this might be the time to adjust your budget. We'll get through this, but it's all about being proactive and prepared. At the end of the day, this is just another example of how interconnected everything is. A small disruption in one part of the food supply chain can have massive consequences for everyone. That's why I'm here to help keep you informed about the things that could affect your financial future. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Financial Futures. I'm always here to break down these complex topics and make sure you stay one step ahead of the game. Also, drop a comment below and let me know are you already seeing higher food prices where you live. Check out the videos I've linked in the description and in the comments below for more insights into how current events impact your finances. Stay safe, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, understanding what's happening now can help you plan for tomorrow. I'm grateful for each one of you in this community, and together we can navigate these challenges and come out stronger. Thanks again for watching Financial Futures.